So much is happening in our nation. And it's a season and a time for many to wake up and take responsibility. There's so much evil in the land, and yet there are no voices in the spirit crying, restore. The season of lamentation is upon us, where the priest must raise lamentations against iniquity and against wickedness and litigate against the adversary. When evil grows in the land and people don't rise up to cry to the Lord, a point will come where it will look as if they have no God. And so that season is upon us again where sons of order must take their stand between the altar and the porches and call upon the name of the Lord. We are in a strategic season and the people of the world, the people of darkness are aware of this. And so different sacrifices are being offered in the spirit so that verdicts can be passed in the favor of the wicked. But we will cry as a people because it's our responsibility to do so. My brother sent me a video this afternoon and I was so troubled in my spirit that a church was besieged and people were massacred and gradually is becoming as though that is the order. The civilization will not be defined by the sons of darkness. We will define what happens, we will dictate what happens, and we will do that from the altar. The time for casual Christianity is over. If the Lord does not put this body in your heart at this time, you have to beg him to do so. Because when it happens in your neighborhood, you may think it's nothing until it comes to your doorstep. If wickedness will be perpetrated with so much audacity, then it means forces and systems are backing up the things that are happening. The thing about spiritual seasons and timings is that if you miss it, it may take a complete cycle before you are strategically positioned again to carry out warfare. And so it's an abomination for kings to sleep in the time of war. And so we will not sleep. We will not hold back our peace. We will cry and we will call upon the name of the Lord. The Bible said the name of the Lord is a strong tower. It said the righteous run it therein and they are saved. He said, gather together, you will scatter. He said, take counsel together, it shall come to know. Speak a word, it will not stand, because our God is in our midst. He said, who is it that proclaims a thing and it cometh to pass when the Lord commands it not? We are not without a witness. The scriptures are a witness. The Holy Ghost is a witness. And we have the backing of angels to establish dominions on the face of the earth. And this is the time for us to deploy all the artillery that is at our reach, because if we don't do it now, another season of bondage will be established and it will take another cycle and only God knows those who will survive if you cannot stand in the season where men fight in the time of bondage you will not make it but that will not be our portion it's such a body it's such a body that wickedness of this magnitude happens and everybody keeps quiet as if nothing has happened something is wrong and we must change things in the spirit. Don't be religious about it. Pray for my body. Can you pray for the peace of the nations? Something is happening and many are not aware. Evil is encroaching the borders of our habitation. It's not a time to sleep. It's not a time to be casual. Something is coming. And if we don't rise to push back the ties. That this time there must be justice in the spirit. That men cannot just be slaughtered. Men cannot just be massacred. Let the blood of these ones raise a case in the courts of heaven. He said when Abel was slain, his voice cried in the courts of heaven. Can you insist that this one, 
it will not go unpunished that every perpetrator let there be judgment against them can you insist that every every Can you raise a cry? Arise, O oh Lord. Pray in the spirit. Release judgment against evil. Release judgment against wickedness. He said, I confirm the words of my servant. I perform the counsels of my messengers. He said, shall the lawful captive be delivered? Shall the priest be taken from the hands of the mighty? He said, thus says the Lord. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. And the plea of the terrible shall be set free. We are not victims. We insist that there must be justice. Hi. Madafaleke Fahatuata. Berakadona Masali Atanas. Barote Kavanaya, Bento Kabila Prata Zuzo Falakate. Arise, O oh Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. Arise, O oh Lord. Let your enemies be scattered. O oh Lord. you up and the way that we wake you up is by swallowing up your investment what you built with your life for 10 years it will be swept away as if it was nothing don't let any spirit undermine your labor that is why you have to hold on to an altar i have walked over this thing for 10 years no spirit can take it away i stand my ground and i insist that only the will of god find expression in my spirit that is what priesthood is about priesthood is not religious praying it's legislation and litigation legislation is the power to insist that only the will of god stand and litigation is the power to hold demons back you can't walk past here this is not a ground you can tread i secure this territory the bible spoke of samuel he said in nayot ramah saw took an army and came to slow him samuel didn't need to send anybody there the atmosphere was already charged waiting for any enemy the moment Saul so entered that atmosphere, the Bible said he tore his garment and he prophesied naked from morning to night. That is why when the warriors of God were numbered, it's not only men that fought with arrows that were called. Even priests were called. It's where you put Gideon and Barak that you will put Samuel. Because one was fighting with an arrow, another one was fighting with the spirit, with tongues of fire. The same potency that the arrow generates is the potency that the prayer generates. That's why when I hear people say, all of us should take up arms, I laugh. They have not known priesthood. Prayer is more potent than a battalion of an army. Did you not read about Elisha? A whole army of Syria came to him. He said, Lord, blind their eyes. And an army came and he led the army back to their city. Because one man praying is more powerful than the battalion of a soldier. What is the weight of your priesthood? One man can hold Abuja in the spirit. And no matter the military, it can't change anything. We are not praying. I will never be part of the pastors that tell men to carry guns. 
Because I know guns are the least weapons. But I know there is a place in the spirit where Elijah sat and he said, if I be a man of God, let fire come down and consume you. 50 soldiers were burnt up. I know a man called Elijah. He did it not once, not twice. The third time when the army showed up, they saw the roasted one. The guy called him, my Lord. My Lord. Because we come with bows and arrow. But we know you have something that is superior to bows and arrow. Christianity must graduate to that level. Help that brother. He must graduate to that level where men can shoot arrows with tongues. And so when you are praying, you are firing weapons in the spirit. This is what God wants us to achieve. But where are the men of prayer? Where are the men that can ascend the mountains of God and say restore? Where are the men? I read the story of John Knox. He said, give me Scotland or I die. And one man provoked a revival in a nation. This is not motivational speaking. This is a mystery in the spirit that one man praying can be more powerful than the battalion of a soldier. Malekedaka voliatanas, Baraka seze, Vele kandali, Derakira, he said, He that prays in an unknown tongues, he said, He speaketh not unto men, he said, He speaking to God, he said, In the natural, it makes no sense. How be it in the spirit, he uttered mysteries. We need fighters on the altar. Men that stand on the altar and take flights in the spirit. We need men that can be mobilized from the altar and shape the topography of territories. Men that can bring deliverance unto Jacob through the powers of priesthood and intercession. Ah! In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hear this. He said, why do the heathens rage? And the people imagine a vain thing. 
He said the kings of the earth, they gathered together and they took counsel against God and against his Christ. He said, but he that sits in the heaven shall laugh. And he said, he shall vex them in his derision. Hear this. It doesn't matter what the enemy is doing. Right now, go ahead and release judgment. Go ahead and release judgment. He said, he will cut off a nation because of you. Every wicked fellow, every strategy of the demonic, let all of them be cut off. Cut off and cut off. In the name of Jesus, 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Come. Hear this. Hear this. God is against evil and wickedness. Yes, sir. And any man that perpetrates evil for no just cause, there's a verdict yes, sir. for that man. I want to proclaim a verdict oh, and we will pray it. Oh, Psalm 109. Oh, Psalm 109, verse 4. Oh, Hear what he said. He said, For my love and my adversary. He said, For my love, they are my adversary. He said, I give myself unto prayer. He said, They have rewarded me evil for good and hatred for my love. We did them no wrong. All we do was to, is to proclaim good. They repay it with evil. When show love, they repay it with wickedness. Hear the verdict of the Lord. He said, Set a wicked man over them. He said, Let Satan stand at their right hand. He said, When he is judged, let him be condemned. And he said, Let his prayer become a sin. He said, Let his days be few. And let another man take his office. Amen. Let his children be fatherless. Amen. Let his wife be a widow. Amen. Let his children continually be vagabond. Amen. He said, Let them beg. He said, Let them seek bread. But let no man give to them. Amen. They should dwell in desolation. Amen. He said, Let the extortioner catch them. Amen. And let a stranger. Take over their possession. Amen. Go ahead and release that judgment. Manta. They are cut off. They are children and families. They are wives and widows. They are wives and widows. Men that overrun them. They are goods and spoil. Madagas. Vela Kota. And Sodom Kapana Suda. Elegoska. Elegoska. And Theado Palakota. Arakatonos. Dagas. Dagas. Wade. Wade. Let their office be taken. Amen. Oh, 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 oh. I am. We release the vengeance of God. My God. Of all the Cardonas. Idiot. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 